Tonight Show band. <laughs> Lewis, that's intense. Uh, it's Wayne Shorter. That was, for those of you, for those of you at home who don't know, the people in the audience were just, were just treated as something very intense. What were we just listening to? You know, that is the music of recently deceased uh, Wayne Shorter. One oh, of the wow. Jazz legend. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. I want to thank uh, Daniels, which is the superstar uh, directing duo that directed Everything Everywhere All at Once for that open of our show today. Woo. It was an amazing experience. Woo. You can go see lovely fellas. Uh, you can see Everything Everywhere All at Once. It's in theaters and on demand. Check it out, y'all. Now, folks, I am not just a late show host. I'm also a doctor. Technically, I'm a honorary doctorate of fine arts. But that does allow me to do creative writing on a prescription pad. And I feel, as a doctor, it's my obligation to keep you updated on all matters of your well-being in my new wellness segment... There's big news from the FDA. They've put out a proposal to update the current definition of healthy. Is that necessary? <laughs> we already know what healthy is. It's the potato chips with the lighthouse on the bag. <laughs> you can't feed junk to the grizzled loners who protect our rocky New England shores. <laughs> now, specifically, this new FDA rule means that manufacturers will only be allowed to label their products healthy if they contain a meaningful amount of food from at least one of the main food groups. So from now on, all food must contain some food. <laughs> up till now, up till now, <laughs> up till this rule, Marie Callender's was mostly just calendar. <laughs> and just a hint of Marie. <laughs> Obviously, any new labeling that helps us eat healthier is good, but food brands aren't taking this sitting down with a tub of Cool Whip. For instance, ConAgra, which accounts for 60% of sales of all products labeled as healthy with their Healthy Choice frozen meals. So if this rule goes through, they're going to have to change the name of Healthy Choice Chicken Linguini to Just Eat It, Moms at Book Club. Uh. Other food companies, good for mom, other food companies are also protesting. General Mills, Kellogg, and Post say that the proposal would exclude more than 95% of breakfast cereals from being labeled as healthy. Well, I can see why they're fighting this. I mean, breakfast cereals already have way too many rules. You want Lucky Charms? You gotta steal them from a leprechaun. <laughs> Tricks are only for those who can avoid a coked-out rabbit. <laughs> Fruit Loops? Follow a weird British toucan into the jungle where he'll make you breakfast. You want Frosted Flakes? You gotta play basketball with a furry. <laughs> but most... Most outraged of all might be the American Cheese Society, <laughs> also known as America. <laughs> they are being, they are arguing that being healthy is more than just food. They say, what we eat, how and when we eat, even with whom we eat, and our lifestyle influences what is healthy for a group or an individual. Healthy is a lifestyle that includes exercise, mental well-being, and other aspects beyond food. Adding... Cheese Whiz is part of a healthy diet as long <laughs> as your diet also contains a 5K, a therapist, another healthier diet, and a weeping spouse begging you to put down the spray cheese so you can, quote, be there when your daughter walks down the aisle, Dave. We'll be right back with Nick. <laughs>